Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Well, tomorrow is the last day of the year. And for just two days in Germany, we are allowed to fire these. So in a few hours, the legal phase begins. So these are category two firecrackers filled with about two grams, 32 grains of black powder. And um, of course, we have to shoot them with a slingshot. So I made this. This is a dedicated firecracker launcher. Let me show you its features. So, it is a breech loader. So I can take the firecracker and directly load it into the breech. And here you can see that there is a little lighter built in. Here. So what you do is you put in the firecracker. You simply launch the lighter and then the thing burns and you shoot. So of course today I cannot yet fire them, you have to wait for tomorrow, but I can show you how it shoots. Simply put it down and then you lift up the band and then you take the firecracker, put it in and then fire away. Let's see how high it flies. Wow, <laughs> quite high. So let's see what happens when we fire it into this very thick cardboard box. Wow. So it crashed through and hit it here and almost got to that, to that layer as well. I think this may be strong enough to be shot into ballistic gelatin. <laughs> so I built this tip with a steel nail in front and also enough room for the fuse to be lighted and burned down. So let's test the penetration with a new false tip. That was pretty clean. So let's test it against the block of gelatin. Unfortunately today we cannot let it explode. That is reserved for tomorrow. Achtung, fertig. So I think the penetration is just about perfect. It went in all the way. I can't wait for the explosion test. <laughs> I also wanted to give you a little update on the 9 inch nail shooter. First of all I added like a chest rest so it's now far easier to cock. And also I made a few new arrows. So this is the original tip. This is actually a carbon arrow that I shortened and it has a field tip on it. It's far lighter, front heavy, so it's good for long distances. This is a botkin, very sharp edges. This is just a nice round tip. And this is like a scalpel blade that I hand forged into the nail. This is probably best for soft tissue. We'll test them against ballistic gelatin. Achtung. So I think it's pretty clear that the scalpel blade works really good for soft tissue. And I think the botkin is best against clothes and even light protection. Now let's test the penetration into a wooden board. No penetration at all. Now the field tip. Okay. So the field tip barely stuck in. The botkin sticks really hard and the round tip 
did like an equally fine job. So now let's test how well they fly on longer distances. Oops. That was my wife's car. Mm -mm. So the steel nail didn't do very well, but let's test the uh, field tip error. That was pretty good. So again, it is the front heavy projectile style that makes this fly straight, even without any fledging. So I think this is a fearsome weapon on short distances with nails, and a very effective longer range weapon with shortened normal field tipped arrows. I'm really proud. It's a very good weapon. Now stay tuned, tomorrow we're going to shoot these up into the air and explode them and then we'll shoot them into a block of ballistic gelatin. <laughs> Can't wait. Well, I hope you liked it. That's it for today. Thanks and bye-bye.